Remember the good old days when you were a toddler arranging syntactic trees like verbal bonsais? The hour spent analyzing collocated parts of speech? Of course you don't. Your first language just came to you, and then kept on coming to you. From infancy through adulthood, we acquire language as we rack up new experiences that help us put things in context and make sense of verbal ambiguity. It's how we know that the sentence, Yesterday, I went to the bank and ran into my friend, describes a chance encounter between friends, and not a senseless rampage. But if you're a computer trying to translate that sentence into another language, that distinction is anything but obvious. Yet, as of now, if you pop that same example into a standard online translation engine and translate it to French, out comes this semantically accurate bad boy. Hier, je suis allé à la banque et suis tombé sur mon ami. C'est parfait! So, how does a computer understand the original sentence without that big old linguistically dexterous brain of yours? For accurate machine translation and natural language processing, we have word embeddings to thank. A word embedding is a sequence of numbers that stores information about a word's meaning. Engineers can assign numerical values representing different properties of a word. From here, they can analyze the similarity between two or more words by comparing those numbers. If you plot those numbers as coordinates, say like this, you can quickly visualize the relationship between different terms. We can determine the similarity between the words by analyzing the angle between their vectors. Of course, this is just a hypothetical example, and in practice, engineers develop word embeddings like these on a massive scale. An ordinary word embedding might encode information about hundreds of properties, and machines need access to millions of words to truly learn the embeddings. And in fact, they're not encoding for tangible properties like furry or dangerous, since an algorithm can't really know a word's meaning. If you train a language model on a sufficient number and variety of examples, the final product will be a system that can predict the neighboring terms for any given word. That way, when a well-trained machine translation engine runs into the word friend, it'll know not to translate the verb run into so literally. The British linguist John Rupert Firth described this approach to language processing memorably. You shall know a word by the company it keeps. Both humans and machines know a word by its verbal entourage, but we still have the upper hand. Despite all the progress in word embeddings, scientists still haven't put the language problem to rest. This isn't the end of the quest for machines that truly understand human language. It's just the beginning. <laughs>